My name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can manage multiple Gmail accounts all from a single inbox. So let's jump into it. Here, I have my Gmail account open and as you can see at the top, this is a demo account. This is my SDC Teacher 02 demo account. Now I also have a Teacher 01 account, as you can see here at the top. I would like to be able to manage and send emails as both accounts from a single inbox. So let's go ahead and set that up. Now, first of all, you have to navigate to the inbox you would like to use. So in this case, I would like to use the 01 account and therefore I'm going to navigate to this one first. Then I have to find my settings. So here in my Gmail account, I'm going to click on the cogwheel at the top. Then I am selecting see all settings. Now, once you're in your settings, you're going to go to the accounts tab. And that is because you can add as many accounts as you want and you can manage them all from this single Gmail inbox. So let's go ahead and click on accounts. Here, we're going to add another email address. So here you can see it says send mail as, and we're going to click on add another email address. There we go, it is now asking us what is the name of the other email address and what is the email account. So we're going to change that. This will be demo teacher two. And then where it says email address, go ahead and add that second account. Treat it as an alias, we're going to leave that and then click on next step. Now you're going to be asked to send a verification code to that other email address. That is to confirm and prove that you are the owner of that account. So let's go ahead and send a verification. Once that verification email has arrived in your second inbox, you can click on the link or copy the verification code. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to open up our different account and here we will have received that verification email. You can see that here confirmation send email as we're going to open this email and then we're going to click on that verification code or on the link so we're going to click on that link there we go we need to confirm that we want to give access to this account so let's go ahead and click on confirm and from now on the teacher one account can send emails as teacher two so let's go ahead and test that we're going to open up our first account we have finalized this so we can close the window and we are now in our inbox. So let's go ahead and open up the inbox and let's compose a new message. We're going to send this to a demo student account. And as you can see, the from tab now enables me to select both email accounts. That's great. We can now send emails to the second account. So let's go ahead and test this. We're going to send from demo to demo test and we're going to send it. Click on send. Now the demo student account here has received an email from the teacher2 account. When they open this, they only see the teacher2 email address and they do not see that this was sent from the Gmail inbox of the teacher1 account. In other words, you can use both email addresses. Now let's see what happens when our student replies to this. So we're going to click on reply and say thank you. Let's send. So this is now sent back to the teacher2 account. There we go, we've now responded to the teacher2 account. However, because we haven't set up forwarding of emails, teacher1 does not see this reply. So it is very important that you do not forget the next step, and that is to forward all your emails from your second account to your first account, so you can access them both. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to open our second account, dive into our settings of the second account, open up all settings, and then find the forwarding tab. So here you can see forwarding and pop or IMAP. I'm going to click to forwarding and add a forwarding address. There we go. And let's add in that first demo teacher account. Click on next. And now every single email sent to this account will automatically be forwarded to the first account. So here you can see confirmation. Let's go ahead and proceed. And everything should be working now. We have now added that forwarding email. And as you can see here at the top forwarding, it is still set to disable. We're going to select forward a copy of the incoming message to this email address. And we can then choose what we want to do with the original message. Do we want to keep it, mark it as read, archive it or delete it? I'm going to go ahead and mark it as read. 
There we go. We're going to add this and click on Save Changes. From now on, every email sent by that student will automatically find its way to the first teacher demo account. So let's test it out. We're going to open up this email. We're going to reply to the email one more time. Thank you again. And then we're going to click on Send. This is sent to the Teacher2 demo account, but because we've set up forwarding, we can access this from our first Teacher demo account. So here I am in my first Teacher demo account. Let's wait for that email to arrive. And there it is, you can see, Demo Test. It's automatically arrived into my Teacher demo one account. When I open this, I can now respond to this. Now I am in my Teacher one account, so make sure that if you are responding as Teacher two, that you first click at the top and select the correct email address that you would like to use. This way, you can have multiple email addresses and multiple inboxes all in one single place. Now, I hope you found this helpful. This was another tips and tricks with Apps Events and Acer. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you click on that red button so you can be notified of all future videos. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.